Hello friends and welcome to the channel. This is Stormhaven Gaming, I'm John and this is Foundation. I've played on for a couple of days, literally a couple of days, um, and we have a courier who is requesting that we celebrate fishes. Mmm. Uh, there's plenty of fish in storage and the elders believe your village is due for a fish fair. If you can make sure everyone has a splashing good time, there is a good chance the trading value of this resource will improve. So we need, uh, again, it's, it's basically the same as the berry market, 75% uh, happiness uh, for 21 days. Uh, we'll get a happiness bonus, a trade price bonus um, with kingdom villages, and a 25% bonus when selling fish. And we are selling fish, so that will help. Let's do it. Why not? Uh, okay, the mystery tax. We are 371 coins uh, into the thousand that we need. Good stuff. Uh, we are building a warehouse uh, over there. Still waiting for that to go in. Uh, we are building our candle workshop over here. And still waiting for that to go in. Um, what else is happening? What are our soldiers doing? Let's have a look. Um, we have a fair few fully trained one. What have we got? Uh... Difficult mission. Yeah, you'll do. Uh, fully trained, fully trained, fully trained. Fully trained, fully trained, fully trained, fully trained, and fully trained. There we go. Extreme chance of uh, success. Off you go. Okay, oh, bees. Yeah, so, that's where we are at the moment. I'm going to spin on and let... Um, the couple of bits of building that we've got um, be completed because I do want to start selling um, the common wares. Uh, we're still waiting for any to be produced, I think. Uh, oh no, we've got eight. No idea where they are, but we've got eight apparently. But yeah, we can uh, wait for these to be uh, completed. And then we need to look at what we're doing next. I would quite like to get gold mining in. The only problem is it's not a lot of use. We can sell gold. Or we can make jewellery if we have plenty of gems, which we just don't. Gems are not a resource that we can rely on. So making gold is, is only useful for trade goods, basically. Um... Let's have a look. We did open up some more stuff. I do need to think about the cloister, don't I? I really do need to think about the cloister. Ugh. All right, okay. No, we'll build a cloister. But we'll wait until um, these two things are built first. Okay, well, as you can see, we've got delighted visitors. We currently have a happiness of 115%, uh, and we have seven days left on the fish fair. Uh, our candle workshop is in. Um, our warehouse up here is in. Um, the only issue with the candle warehouse is that we need citizens to staff it, which isn't ideal. Um, but we will promote ourselves a couple of citizens. Um, no, we don't want that. We want mandates. There we go. Let's have a look. We want two workers, so let's... Uh, Dukio and Hrabinus, you are promoted. Now we need to jump down to... Close that. Reopen it. Jump down to our citizens. Here we are. Uh, Dukio and Hrabinus. There you go. And we can put them in there. Excellent stuff. Right. Uh, the other thing that I uh, noticed, if we call up the monastery, we are missing a beekeeper. Quite why, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to devote another villager. There we go. The, the female villager has been um, promoted there. And we need two, not mandates, we want... Uh, no, yeah, we want to promote villagers again. Um, and you can become a beekeeper. There we go. 
Okay. Close that down. Good, good. Six days left on the fish fair. Right. I guess let's try and build... A cloister. I don't know. Right, well, let's let let's try, shall we? Okay, I've laid it out in general, and that actually looks like it might work. It's certainly showing that it's accessible. I don't know why this is blue rather than anything else, but that seems fine. Uh, enclosed area, enclosed area, access is all yes. Okay, let's try and pretty things up in here. We'll stick uh, a nice bench there. Um, we'll stick a towering pruned hedge there. Um, and let's stick ourselves a, a bowl in the centre like that. Okay. Um, delighted visitors, another 15% bonus. We're up to 120%. Very nice. Okay, we'll see if that works. Oh, hello, come on in, come on in. And I'll spin on the two days until the end of the fish fair. We're probably not going to lose that much happiness in two days, so we should be fine. Well, still a day left on the fish fair, but we have a steward of the bishop. What do you want? Bread, herbs and berries, of course. Um, we don't have enough bread. Everything else is fine, but not bread. Sorry, not at the moment. Right. Bread. We need more farms, don't we? Okay. We can do that. Let's chuck another farm in. Up there. And we'll put the field in just here. Okay. Now. Oops. Oh, there we go. The Merry Fair is over. Fair lived up to expectations. People from all around are spreading good words about your fine craftsmanship and hope to do further business with your village. Good, good, good. So we got a boost there. Now, um, obviously nothing has uh, started building up here yet. Uh, looks like people are bringing resources, though, so that's a good start. Oh, no, they're going that way. I don't know where they're going, then. Uh, but eight builders are bringing resources. So, let's spin on until the building work starts and see how many problems we have with it. Okay, played on for a couple of weeks. We've got our farm in. It's planting, or has planted up its first uh, field. Um, they are now growing, so they're not going to plant anymore. So, I've, I've made the field quite large to start with. It, it stretches sort of all the way down here. Um, they might be able to get that done if they turn up a bit more quickly. I only finished building uh, after the rest of the farms had started planting, so um, I, I expect we'll be able to get a bit more than that planted next season. Um, I'm also putting in uh, another granary down here because we're only storing 100 wheat, or we can only store 100 wheat here. Uh, and we need to do better. Uh, hello, hello, hello. Come on in. Um, our soldiers are still, I believe, out on their mission. Uh, yes, they are still on their mission. There we go. There's our granary ready. Right, let's... Fill it up with wheat, flour and bread. Yeah, the other thing I was wondering is, do we need another bakery? We have 142 flour. And we're only kind of maintaining our level of bread at the moment, so... Maybe? Maybe we should put in another bakery? Um... Yeah, I think you sit quite nicely there. Go in there. We'll see if that helps our stock of bread. It should do. Uh, in terms of our cloister, things are starting to go in. We have our um, one of our entrances um, going in there. 
Uh, this one here is also an entrance. Yeah. We did have a couple of villager path blocked messages at the start, but they don't seem to have repeated. So we're already doing better than we normally do with the cloister. So maybe they've tweaked it a bit. Or maybe I've done something differently. I don't know. I don't believe I've done anything differently. Um, but anyway, we have a... Come on. There we go. Come on to that so I can see the building progress. Uh, we have a courier approaching. Uh, all the way out there. So I'll, I'll spin on until they get here. There we go. Oh, and we've got a vid villager path blocked message as well. That's not ideal. What do you want, first of all? Uh, thanks to your steady trade, last season has been good for your neighbour Northbury. The appreciative Abbess negotiated better prices with their merchants, who are now ready to offer reduced prices on certain goods at specific times in exchange for increased trade volume. Um, I don't... Uh, barrels again, maybe? Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, villager path blocked. Where are you? Couldn't read destination. Right. Couldn't reach destination. Um. Okay. Well, what was your destination and why couldn't you reach... Ah. Were you trying to get into the cloister and you couldn't because the other part of the build... Uh, the entrance hasn't been built yet. Was that the issue there? Um, you just walked straight in. Oh well, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll spin on and see what happens. I'm not holding out much hope. Okay, I've played on for a few more days. Uh, we did get a couple more villager path blocked messages. But they are all coming from monks and nuns. Specifically brothers and sisters trying to access the cloister. So I think that's the problem rather than the cloister not working just because it isn't built yet. And if we look at you, Zacob, you are a brother and you have fulfilled your need to spend time in the contemplative solitude of a cloister. So that is working. Right. That's a promising sign. I'll spin on. And our soldiers were successful. We got... Coin and coal and iron and tools and gold. Mmm. Lovely stuff. Okay, let's have a look at our uh, soldiers, shall we? Okay, so what have we got? We've got a uh, militia level 5. Level 5 is the highest we've got. So, you have a sword. Have a spear instead. Uh, you're level 5. You can have a spear. Uh, you're level 5, you have a spear. You're level 5, you have a spear. You're level 5, you can have a spear. There we go. That's all of the spears that we have. Um, I think we've got a fair few more there that don't have spears. But that's that's fine. We might pick up some spears from a mission sooner or later. Uh, I've put in another forester down here because we are running low on wood. Um, so a, a better supply of that would be useful. Um, so I've just set up a little uh, reforesting area just here uh, to keep up that supply. Other than that, we are still waiting for the cloister to be finished. Okay, played on for a little while longer. Uh, as you can see, the uh, villager path blocked messages are still coming in. Uh, and again, they are all for monks and nuns wanting to use the cloister. So, hopefully that will improve once this finishes. We'll see. Um, but it doesn't seem to be bothering them. They are actually managing to get their cloister usage. So, hopefully that's fine. Uh, over here... Oops, thank you, autosave. In this market here, uh, I've added in a stall uh, to sell candles. Um, and it looks like we are selling candles. So, that's quite nice. Uh, and in this stall over here, uh, this market over here rather, we've put in a stall uh, to sell common wares. And that's just been finished. So, 
that's that. Uh, I also over here want to um, cater a little bit more to our um, civilians uh, and put in a tavern over here. So let me lay that out and I'll be right back. Okay, well, before I lay it out, let's unlock the tavern refined architecture. Um, we might as well unlock the tavern wall as well. Um, oh, and the tavern kitchen. Why not? Okay. Right, let's lay this out then, shall we? Um, tavern. We'll pop it down here on the, um, on the, the lake front. Uh, we will start... Let's move this out of the way. Uh, we will start with our public lounge. So this is where people will be drinking. Um... Refined Hall Balcony or Refined Hall Walled? Uh, this one is more splendid, so let's go with this. Where's the balcony? Uh, I think it's this side. Yes, there we go. Needs to be quite tall to have a balcony, but that's good. We'll have that right there. Um, and in fact, we'll have a... Come on. Are you going to snap on there? There you go. We'll have a refined hall on there as well. Okay, that's a good start. Now what? Uh, a refined bay window. Yeah. Or... On the back there like that. Hmm. Hmm. I think it looks better there. Yeah, okay. Um, what's that? A rustic cookhouse. Yes, we definitely want one of those. We'll stick that um, off the back like that. Okay, door-wise. A refined entrance grounded or a refined entrance elevated. Let's have a grounded one. Uh, and we can, can we stick that in the centre? No, that's attached to the... Uh, balcony. There we go. We'll stick it on there. That's fine. We'll give it a roof chimney. Um, not there, though. Yeah, we'll give it a roof chimney there. Uh, we don't need a chimney on the cookhouse because it already has one. Okay. Um, decorations. A refined balcony. Oh, I, yeah, I'm ha happy with that on the back there, actually. Yeah. Um, what else? A refined terrace. Um, I don't know if we're going to have any space for this. What about on here? Yeah, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. Uh, footbridge, we've got nowhere to go to. Ooh, skylight. Yeah, let's put a couple of skylights in on there, shall we? Oh, and maybe a couple up here as well. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then signs. Obviously, we need a pub sign. Uh, this does have a kitchen on it. So we're going to have a boar on the sign there. Uh, we can also maybe... No, it's not going to snap onto anything, is it? Uh, snaps on there, but that's not a lot of use. Oh, no, that'll do. That'll do. We'll stick one on just here. Um, and we'll stick a flag on it like that. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Weather vane? No. Uh, woodshed, barrels, stable fence, roof stable. No, we won't bother with that. We will have... A couple of benches out there. Uh, and I think we'll have a couple of polished planters there. And then maybe some simple benches as well. Okay, 145 gold. We can afford it. Let's get that built. That's just the public lounge. Uh, we also want... A service counter. Um, 
this can be a separate building, I think. We'll just go with the refined hall. Uh, we'll stick a chimney on it. And we will stick uh, a refined entrance on it. There we go. That's all we need. That's the service counter. We'll need a kitchen, obviously. Um... And we'll stick that out the back. Uh, again, it's just going to be a refined hall, slightly on the angle. Uh, we'll stick the cookhouse on the side. Uh, and we'll stick a service entrance on the front there. Um, we will give it a chimney because I like those chimneys. Anything else we need? No. Uh, let's give it... some barrels out the front though okay right do we need a buried brewery up here no no we don't we're just going to be selling beer up here I think um, once we start making wine we'll add in a, a winery as well do we want anything else No, I don't think so. Okay, yes. We can get that built. I'll spin on. Okay. So a few more days have passed. Uh, and we uh, apparently have ourselves a very slow merchant arriving. Okay. What do you want? Wheat for the elders. The elders are running, uh, looking for wheat to help a nearby village running low on food. One of their merchants saw your farm and wants to make you an offer. 200 wood, we have 17, uh, wool, not wood, wool. Wool? No, wheat. Oh dear, oh dear. 200 wheat. Inside storage facilities, we have 79. No. Uh, we do have currently 481, uh, 492 bread, which is very nice. That's certainly, uh, certainly putting in that second uh, bakery has helped. We can say that. Uh, okay, we are also putting in, on the other side of the hill here, uh, a couple more stonemasons' huts. Because uh, we are very, very short on polished stone, because obviously the monastery is using a lot of it, and the um, tavern is going to use some as well, I believe. Um, so yeah, increasing our stock of that is good, because we also trade quite a lot of that. So having a, a, a lot of that being produced is great. We have plenty of stone. Uh, we have a, a stone a stone cutters camp right here, um, so I just thought it'd be a good idea. Uh, we also have over there somewhere there a stone deposit. So if we need to, we can set up a quarry on there and start getting more stone out. Okay. Other than that, things are progressing. Uh, the cloister is slowly coming along. The tavern, yeah, ta tavern hasn't been started yet, really. But we'll get there. Uh, once it's built, I do want to put a wall in uh, and see if we can simulate a beer garden a little bit up, probably in this corner here. Okay, we've learned a new tax. Uh, we finally completed that uh, thing. So we've got a new edict to unlock, apparently. Yeah, we've got a third slot there for edicts. Okay, what have we got in terms of edicts? Let's pause for a second. Um, sturdy material. Upkeep of production building parts decreased by 50%. That'd be nice. That would save us some money. Stonework promotion in uh, increases the yields of stone, iron ore, gold ore, marble, and quartz, but decreases uh, berries, fish, wheat, boar, and one other resource, presumably grapes. Maybe. Or milk, possibly. Don't know. Uh, bulk trade. Quantity of bonus of 80% from all. And price bonus of minus 20% from all. Hmm. We don't have any in other headings, do we? No, we don't. No. Okay. Right. Hmm. 
See, I don't like that. I that because that decreases food, and I don't like the decrease of food. Um. Maybe that one? Yeah, let's go with that one. And we shall enact it. There we go. Uh, we've also got space for a couple of privileges here. What have we got? Merchandise taxes. Yep, let's have that. Um, trade covenant. What else have we got in clergy? Pious fasting. Food need satisfaction for monastics. Lasts monastics, monastics lasts fifty percent longer. Or lay folk errands, clergy buildings upkeep reduced by ten percent. Tithe taxes. We don't want to tax them too much. Um, let's go for pious fasting. Let, let's have that, shall we? Why not? Okay. Uh, everything else is still being um, constructed. We still have a lot of unemployed uh, villagers. Not a lot has been done on the uh, tavern, as you can see. Same goes up here. Well, it's just taking a long time, partly because we don't have any polished stone. So that's why I'm rushing these um, stonemasons' huts to hopefully get these um, producing some more polished stone. But I'll spin on. So, some time has passed. We are still getting villager path blocked message. Uh, Steward of the Bishop requests an audience. What do you want? Bread, herbs and berries. There's a surprise. What have we got this time? We have plenty to deal with it this time. Okay, yeah, let's just go ahead and send that off. There we go. So, we are still building. Our monastery is... Yeah, it's coming along just very, very slowly. Um, the tavern has barely started. Um, I think we've got a bit of work done on the public lounge, but that's about it. So I'm going to continue spinning on. I want to get this cloister at least finished by the end of the episode. So that's going to require quite a lot more spinning on. Okay, well, it's raining. Uh, we do have plenty of food, so we should be fine. I mean, we will be fine. We have more than enough food. Uh, we've nearly finished our cloister. We've just got these last two sections to build. And I'm being hopeful. Very hopeful. But since this second entranceway has gone in, we haven't had any more villager path blocked messages. Now, as far as I can work out, I've done nothing differently to what I've done before with the cloister. It just happens to be working this time. Um, tentatively, it happens to be working this time. We'll see what happens as we go along. Um, so that's nearly done. So I'll spin on the last few days. It's uh, last few days. The last couple of weeks it'll take to finish this uh, last couple of sections. Okay, somewhat surprisingly, it did only take a few days to finish off the cloister. And, again, tentatively, it seems to be working. At least for the moment. So, touch wood, that's actually working. Uh, what I assume then, normally, is that you put this up against uh, the side of a building with an entranceway. Um, so if you were to put it on here, we'd have like the entranceway there and then the cloister spreading off around it like so. Maybe I'll try that next time. Who knows? Okay, uh, our tavern is still building, but there is other stuff we need to do. Uh, we're putting in a tavern kitchen, but we don't yet have... Where are we? Dairy farming unlocked. So let's unlock dairy farming. I think we should put it up here, uh, in this industrial area that we've got. Uh, we've got plenty of space up here, so let's have a look. What have we got? A couple of dairy farms. Um, one. Two. Let's have three dairy farms. There we go. There we are, three dairy farms. And then, of course, we will need a cheese maker. 
So we'll pop the cheese maker in up here as well. And we pop it between these two dairy farms. Why not? Okay, that's spent half our money. I'll spin on one more time. Hopefully the tavern will be complete. If not, at least some of this will be complete. The rain has stopped. Our dairy farms and our cheese maker are all in. Uh, they are all staffed. Uh, we are producing uh, milk. Uh, the cheese maker has only just uh, gone in, so we haven't made any cheese yet, but we're working on it. Uh, I'm also putting in a granary over here. Are you going to finish it? Confortata? Looks like it. Good on you, Confortata. Right, let's put our three remaining uh, unemployed villagers in there. And we want to be storing milk and cheese. Um, don't know that it's worth storing anything else up here. Maybe berries, because we've got a berry bush out here. We might want to expand that way. Uh, and we are right close to the uh, lake, so let's get some fish in there as well. Okay, in terms of our tavern, it's almost done. Uh, we need the door to go on the cookhouse, and we need the um, service counter to be completed. The public lounge has just been finished, as you can see. Uh, they can't actually use it yet, obviously. But we're not far off getting the um, service counter. Obviously, at the moment, we're only going to be serving beer over here. Uh, and as I say, once it is all done, and this is probably going to be next episode, uh, I might want to put the tavern wall around there uh, and see if I can put in like a beer garden style bit of decoration in this empty space here. But we will leave it there for this episode. I think we've done all right. I, I was a bit worried we weren't getting much done, but we've nearly got another tavern in. Uh, we've opened up dairy farming. Um, we've sent our soldiers off on a few missions, actually. Um, and one other thing we have done, all the way over here, we have two iron nodes. This is the, the, the last of the um, mineral nodes on the map, as far as I can uh, ascertain. Uh, we got one stone deposit and two iron deposits. So we definitely... Definitely want to come across this way at some point because we're going to need to open up that iron. And this is quite a long way from our uh, village centre. Oh, hello. Come on in. Go and work in the granary. Yeah, this is quite a long way from our uh, village centre. So it's going to be um, interesting. But we'll definitely want to come across this way. As I say, we'll leave it there for this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And please join us next time. Until then, I've been John. This has been Foundation. Please do take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And bye-bye.